drawn up as a possible all-weather and night fighter. The P.1079B was the natural progression of a line of design studies undertaken by Heinkel engineers during the latter World War II, 1939-1945, period that began with the P.1079A of early 1945. In its original form, the aircraft carried a two-person crew, seated in tandem, back-to-back, -back, and the aircraft sported large, swept-back wing main planes along with a V-tail plane arrangement. A side-by-side -side twin engine configuration would power the machine. In the P.1079B revision, the aircraft was modified extensively by becoming an ear-flying wing design. The larger surface area of the delta wing arrangement meant that no horizontal tail planes were needed. The V-tail was given up in favor of a more traditional single fin. Furthermore, the wing main planes, swept back at 45 degree angles, were now cranked to become gull wing in form, giving the possible fighter a futuristic appearance. Again a twin turbojet engine configuration would be used for propulsion and a tricycle undercarriage for ground running. The crew was reduced to a single person in this new design approach and his position was set under a lightly framed cockpit near the nose of the aircraft. Each engine was aspirated through a circular intake located at each wing route and would be exhausted near the wing trailing edges, ahead of the tail unit. Structural measurements included a running length of 29.6 feet and a wingspan of 42.8 feet. Power would come from two X Heinkel Hearth E011 turbojet engines providing for an estimated maximum speed of 630 miles per hour. In any event, the P.1079B was not progressed any further than paper drawings and may have been a product of the early post war period following the capitulation of Germany in May 1945. A subsequent P.1079B design, the so called P.1079C, took on many of the same qualities listed above and added heavier sweep to the main planes, deleted the vertical tail fin altogether, and reverted to a crew of two, in tandem, back to back. The same armament was retained as was the twin turbojet layout, 